Hello everyone, I hope you all are fine. Today I am going to share a new project which is home automation project using XP and Arduino. Home automation project is most commonly designed project by the engineering students. So that's why I am going to create a complete home automation project so that engineering students can get benefit out of it. Uh, the link to this tutorial is given in the description of this YouTube video and when you click on that link then you come to this blog post on our blog theengineeringprojects.com and here I have uh, mentioned all the details about this project and its title is Home Automation Project Using XP and Arduino. This project uh, is not free to download because we have put a lot of effort in designing this project. So we have paid a very small amount of $50 on it. So if you want to buy this project, you can buy it from this link. Here is the link. You will have to click this button, buy this project and it will open. I am opening it in new tab and it will open you the product page of this project. Let it open. And here it is the home automation project using X, uh, using Arduino and XP in Proteus IS Arduino. Uh, you can see this package includes four files. One is Proteus simulation for remote control, the other one is Proteus simulation for control unit, third one is Arduino code for remote control and Arduino code for control unit. If you have remembered any home automation project, then you should know that uh, in home automation you have a remote in your hand and using that remote you can turn on or off your appliances or your load. For example, I have a remote uh, of my room, then uh, suppose it has some buttons on it, then if I click first button, then it will turn on the first LED or first light and if I uh, click on the second button, then it will turn off that light. If I click on any other button, then it will turn on any other appliances or turn off any other appliances. In this simulation, in this project, I have designed two Proteus simulations. First Proteus simulation is for the remote control. This Proteus simulation contains Arduino Uno. This is the block diagram of remote control simulation. So this remote contains Arduino Uno and with this Arduino Uno, I have interface XP module, which will send the uh, which will send the command uh, wirelessly from Arduino to the uh, from remote section to control unit. Then I have connected a keypad, and I'm using the buttons of this keypad to send commands. So like uh, when I press one on this keypad, then a command will be sent from using this XP module, and it will be sent to control unit. And when control unit receives that command, it will turn on any LED or turn off any LED. Depends on the command we send from the keypad. And LCD shows the values of uh, different sensors which I have placed in the environment. And uh, I am using three sensors in it. One is temperature sensor, other one is flame sensor and the third one is smoke sensor. Okay. That's the process simulation of uh, this uh, remote control. One more thing, I have used XP module in this uh, project simulation and you can download this XP library for Proteus from this link, XP library for Proteus. And if you want to use this new stylish LCD, then you can also download the new LCD library for Proteus from here. Okay, and I have also given that uh, tutorial for interfacing of Arduino with XP. Okay, now coming to the second simulation, which is the control unit. In control unit, I have used let me open its uh, block diagram. I have used the Arduino Uno board, which is the microcontroller board. <coughs> With Arduino board, I have connected relays. Uh, relays are used to control your loads, like uh, uh, if you want to control any AC or DC load from your microcontroller Arduino Uno, then you have to use relay. Relay is like a bridge between the microcontroller and the load. Uh, we all know that uh, Arduino works on 5 volts means if its spin is high then it will be giving 5 volt and if its spin is low then it will be giving 0 volt. But the loads are operated on different voltages like 12 volt 
or if you are using AC, then if you are working on 20 volt AC, so we can't provide uh, 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 these different level of voltages from Arduino Uno. So that's why we use a bridge which is relays, and we control these relays from 5 volts, which in turn the relays control loads. Uh, uh, in simple words, Arduino sends a 5 volt signal to the relay, and when relay gets that 5 volt signal, it energizes and in turn it activates the load attached to that relay ok so after that I have used three sensor gas sensor, temperature sensor and flame sensor and uh, XV, XV is used for getting the wireless commands from remote control and then turning on the relays and these sensor data are also sent from this XV module to the remote section and then those data are displayed on the LCD we're just gonna see it shortly. Okay, moving forward. Uh, here's the uh, Proteus simulation of uh, control unit. Uh, I have used different sensors in it, so if you wanna use it separately, then you can see gas sensor library for Proteus, flame, flame sensor library for Proteus. Interfacing of flame sensor with Arduino, interfacing of temperature sensor with Arduino. Anyways, that's all in this uh, tutorial. You must read this tutorial first, and the link to this tutorial is given in the description of this YouTube video. First, you have to read it so that you understand what this project is about. Okay, now let's have a view on the working of the simulation. When you buy this project from here, you can buy it via PayPal. You will get two folders in the downloadable file, and in these two folders, just one is project simulation, and in it I have the control unit and the remote control. Now you will also have Arduino code, and in Arduino code section, I will have two codes, same as previous one, the control unit code and the remote control code. Here's my first simulation which is the remote control. You can see here we have used the LCD for displaying sensor values, we have used keypad for sending commands, we have used XP module for wireless communication and here's our Arduino board. So first thing you need to do is you need to upload the hex file from this remote control. So I'm gonna compile this code, the remote control code and I will get the hex file here's my hex file, control C and I need to upload this hex file here The Arduino board of remote control. Click OK. Now my remote control is ready to operate. Now next thing I need to do is I need to get the hex file for the control unit and need to upload it in the Arduino board of control unit. So I am waiting for the hex file link. Here it is. So I'm gonna copy this text file link and uh, I'm gonna upload it in the Arduino board of my remote control section. Click OK and now when you run it, you can see all the loads are off. Let me just uh, first give you an overview of the simulation. First of all, I have used these 8 relays. You can see all these 8 relays, uh, sorry here are the relays, this is my relay 1, it's having output 1 which is going here in the first load, which is, uh, I named it as bulb 1. <coughs> here's our output 1 coming from the relay 1 and here's our input 1 which is coming from this Arduino board input 1. And this is our XP module, when we run our simulation uh, then XP module takes this shape because uh, uh, the protein
this is not very uh, uh, functional software. Uh, when you apply a lot of load on it, then it produces bugs. And this is one of its bugs that is giving us the this shape when we run the simulation. If I stop it, then it will come back to this X B module. Okay. So now I am running it. And here is my second simulation. I am running it as well. And you can see the first thing we came is designed by the engineering project dot mod. If you can change in the code, I am not going to show you the code because you know these are not free. You have to buy them. Okay, now I am just going to adjust them so that you can have a complete view. Okay, you can see the flame sensor is saying 1, the smoke sensor is saying 1 because I have uh, put the value of this logic state as 1 so that's why it's saying smoke detected and flame detected if I tick it 0 and check my simulation then you can see it's not, uh, it's not updated yet but it will update soon and it will give us not detected here but it's not getting updated I don't know why it should get updated so let me, oh yeah, here it is. The flame sensor got not detected. This delay will not happen in your hardware. This delay is because of the limitations of Proteus software. So we are communicating between two simulations which was quite, kind of impossible before. But because we are uh, communicating between two simulations and we are running two Proteus files, that's why, that's why there are few delays in it. So I'm gonna click it zero and check my simulation again and it will also become, as you can see, smoke becomes not detected. Now temperature sensor, you can see here it says 0 0.00C. That's also another very big bug of Proteus software. It shouldn't happen, but uh, I don't know why it's happening. But I give you a guarantee that when you run it on a real hardware, then this thing won't happen because the code is working exactly fine. Now I'm gonna turn on my loads from this keypad, so when I click button 1, you will see the bulb 1 goes on. Now when I click this button again, the bulb will go off. So I will use the button from 1 to 8 to control this load from this load 1 to load 8. So whenever you click any button, like I click 2, then bulb 2 goes on. When I click 3, bulb 3, 4, bulb 4 goes on. Now when I click 5, the fan 1 will turn on. The speed is slow again because of the heavy load on Proteus. So I click 6, the fan 2 goes on. I click 7, fan 3 goes on. Click 8, fan 4 goes on. Now if I click again, 8, fan 4 will stop. If I click 7 again, fan 3 will stop. If I click 6 again, fan 2 will stop. 5 and in this way, you can stop anything you want or turn it again on if you want. I like it, click on 5 and fan 1 is on again. I click on 8 and last fan will on, turn on again. And if I click on here, let me do it in this way. If I click it once, then you will see it will come here as detected. I am clicking both of these ones. You see, same one detected and smoke. Here it is detected. That's how these simulations are working. I hope you have liked this simulation. My fourth, fifth load is still on, so I'm clicking it again to turn it off. Oh yeah, and second load is also on, so I'm clicking it to turn it off. So you can simply click uh, on the first click, it will turn on, and on the second click, it will turn off. And as I told, this project uh, is not free, and I have placed a very small amount of fifty dollars. Uh, and you can buy it using PayPal. And we are also giving a service that once you buy this project and you are unable to run it because I know you will get some errors in it for the first time because uh, you are not much familiar with uh, such complex circuits. So if you had any pro if you have any problem uh, in this project, then we will also help you out. We will provide a free service. On and for anyone who buy this project so when you buy this project and you 
somehow unable to run it then we will help you out for the first time and we will make you work on your laptop completely that's a free offer in this project so thanks for watching subscribe to our youtube channel and also subscribe to our uh, blog via gmail uh, sorry any email you can subscribe from here to your email here and submit and you can subscribe to our blog and also subscribe to our youtube channel thanks for watching stay safe take care bye bye